YouTube. In today's video, you'll see some footage of Arlo wearing his raincoat out and about in some very light rain. I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so he's worn it a couple of times because it has rained a couple of times since I got it. One time it was raining quite heavily and um, I got wet and he also got wet because my coat wasn't actually waterproof and the thing with his coat is even though it's a pony coat and it's 110 centimetres long, I've realised that still a lot of his back end is exposed and uh, I don't know what to do about it. Anyway, it's all right for just light rain, as you'll see in these clips. Uh, but when it's torrential rain, um, we don't really go out that much, but he still needs to go out for a wee and stretch his legs. So I'm either going to have to get one made or try and alter the current one and put an extra bit on the back. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> He's so rude. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. That's very rude. That's most rude. What will your fans think? He's such a twit. We're in the spare room and he sleeps up on this bed. <laughs> so I don't know if he... <laughs> I don't know what's going through that fluffy head of his. You're a naughty boy. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> So as I said, I'm going to try and figure out what to do with his coat for times when it's raining, which isn't a lot, but it's rained a lot here more recently because of the weather system that we're in. So I do want to get him something to keep the majority of the rain off because I mostly walk him at night when I get home from work. And in the middle of winter, it's already pitch black and it's usually very, very cold. Not that he minds the cold that much, but to have a soggy puppy at home at night time after I've done a full day's work, it's not much fun. Okay. 